In the past few years, there's been a lot of talk about America losing its standing in the world, economically, diplomatically, grammatically. <laughs> but yesterday, the U.S. showed there's at least one place they can still kick ass. It was a day of record-setting domination on the world stage for the U.S. women. As the Women's World Cup kicks off in France, the U.S. women's soccer team is showing no mercy and making history. 2-0 U.S. It's 3-0. The defending champions posting the tournament's largest margin of victory ever, shutting out Thailand 13 to nothing. Wow! 13 to nothing! That's not a soccer score. America basically won by a touchdown, a field goal, and a three-pointer combined. <laughs> like, they were dominating so hard, this was their goalie during the game. And it's crazy, because if you watch soccer in the world, you're like, this is madness. Americans were like, this is how soccer should be! <laughs> I do feel a little bad, though, right? Because this is the worst thing to ever happen to a Thai soccer team. And yes, I'm including the one that got stuck in the cave. <laughs> yeah, because at least the cave wasn't celebrating in front of them. You guys are stuck in me! <laughs> so, this was a historic win for the U.S. women's soccer team. But some people say it might have been a little too much winning. A lot of controversy over how the women of Team USA celebrated over that record-breaking win over Thailand. Critics say the team showed poor sportsmanship by continuing to score, then celebrate. Some calling Team USA's behavior embarrassing, overboard, and disrespectful. That target that they already had on their back as defending champions, that just got a whole lot bigger. They have now painted themselves as villains and as bullies. Okay. I get what people are saying, right? They're saying that the U.S. beat this team so hard they should have been more sensitive, not celebrating every single goal. But, I mean, at the same time, sometimes taking pity can be worse than celebrating. You know, it's patronizing. Like, imagine you're in a rap battle and you're losing, and then the other MC's like, and another thing! Wait, wait, are you okay? Oh, <laughs> I totally crushed you with that line about your mama. Hey, I, I can talk if you need... Do you want a hug? Do you want a hug? <laughs> so the big question is... Has this tarnished the reputation of U.S. women's soccer? Well, for more on this, we're joined by someone who's embarrassed America many times while overseas. Desi Lydic, everybody! <laughs> Desi... <laughs> People are saying the U.S. women's soccer team was unsportsmanlike. Do you yeah. agree? No, no. They were not being unsportsmanlike, Trevor. They were being American. Our slogan is America f yeah! Not... <laughs> America, oh, sorry we won. We're the country that won a war 200 years ago, and we're still shooting off fireworks to rub it in Britain's face. So, so you're saying it's not arrogance, that's just how America rolls. Exactly. It's how we roll on the battlefield, it's how we roll on the soccer field, it's how we roll at our daughter's piano recital, which she totally <laughs> won, by the way. Desi, I don't think you can win a piano recital. No, you do if all the other parents' cars get their tires slashed. <laughs> and suddenly, orchestra night becomes Tiffany night. I love you, sweetie. You made Beethoven your bitch. Okay, you're a good mom, I guess, Desi. Uh, but, but don't you feel even a little bad for Thailand's team? What? Thailand? No, this has nothing to do with them. Our women weren't playing against Thailand. They were playing against the patriarchy. That's what this game was really about. Well, last time I checked, the patriarchy wasn't made up of 13 Thai women. No, 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 no. no. I'm talking about this. 28 players are suing their employer, the U.S. Soccer Federation, alleging institutionalized gender discrimination. According to their lawsuit, the women's team earns just 38% of a male player for the same kind of work. The women scored more goals in one match than the men's team has scored in every World Cup appearance since 2006 combined. You see that? The women's soccer team is doing so much more and getting paid so much less than the men's team. It's like finding out that Tony Stark got paid less than Hawkeye. One's a superhero, the other's a dad who's into archery. <laughs> Look, yesterday was about the women's team trying to prove their worth. They weren't just playing to win a game, they were playing to win a lawsuit. And yeah, you know what, it sucks that Thailand had to get caught in the crossfire, but it's like I said to the parents at my kids' music school, it's not personal and I'll pay for your tires. So, so you're saying the women's team was just sending a message to U.S. soccer? Yes, and clearly that message was that they need to be paid more. 
Oh, and uh, I don't know, maybe U.S. soccer should pay the men less. Maybe they'd then be motivated to actually qualify for their World Cup. Desi Lydic, everyone.